look at the soil in these rows and then look at the seeds you're planting in the everyday decisions you're making, the way you're implementing the growth of your garden. The way you are implementing the growth of your garden. And what you're doing is you're at the same time anchoring the understanding that you're the gardener. It's always been you. Kuan Yin has not been deciding what's in your garden. Mother Mary has not been deciding what's in your garden. Green Tara has not been deciding what's in your garden. Freya has not been deciding what's what's in your garden. Do you, are you following me? You are the gardener. It's always been you. You want to plant more seeds of a certain space of your life? Plant them. Plant them from the understanding that you are not separate, that your soil is fertile, that you are aligned with the manifestation of the sun in the way in which the sun is optimal, the rain in the way in which the rain is optimal, and everything else involved in the cultivation of an abundant life an abundant garden, but it's always been you. We respect and we revere and we love and we hold gratitude for any understandings and teachings that nurture us, that guide us, that allow us to open up to more of us. Yes, 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 I can remember Probably in 2017, 2018, I fell in love with a green Tara. I think it was green Tara, might've been white Tara. There's a lot of colors with Tara, but I don't know them all. Um, a mantra, I think you call it, is that and then they repeat the same thing over and over with song, all right? I, I fell in love with one, it was so beautiful. And, and if anyone's really interested, I can try to find it. it it's, it's on YouTube. And I loved that. And I played it for like weeks at a time. And it was very expansive for me, just bringing in a lot of peace in the space I was in and navigating. I at no point put any type of connection to uh, any worship of that or like, if I didn't do it, it wouldn't work or I had to have it in order to be that's the biggest space of understanding you're not separate. That's the biggest space of finding all the seeds that say, you know, you need something outside of you to save you, is allowing yourself to know it's always been you. And it's fine to get the fertilizer that assists the garden. And maybe that's a green Tara mantra, or maybe that's a Kuan Yin, you know, something or whoever or A.O. Garris or you know who <laughs> it's fine to get the fertilizer and the to assist the garden right so think about your garden in every way your garden is meaning your outer reality of what you see in your everyday life what you call your everyday what you see in your quantum what you see in your sleep space it's all you it's all quantum it's all your wholeness think of any spaces in which you may have leaned in a little harder in the sense of allowing them to seem as if, or maybe even you feeling like you needed them to save you in some way. I had one for a very long time, it was Yeshua. And I do not in any way say that I do not believe in Jesus, Yeshua, or that I don't know that that understanding and the teachings are with me at all times, because I do. I know that, but I came from a space where when I would be in very fearful moments and or big moments, it was almost to the point of, I felt like if I didn't connect in and ask him to take it all and hold it all, I wouldn't survive or something, or something bad would happen. Now I understand I never have to ask because I am one with him. He's right with me at all times. We're never separate. Now there's a very big difference in functioning in your life coming from that type of vibration. So if 
experiences arise or emotions arise or thoughts arise or fears arise, you're already embedded in fertilely anchored, <laughs> abundantly aligned with that sovereign oneness. You're not going looking for it. You're not begging it to come in. You're not praying for it to save you. You're already coming from, you are it. And the other spaces of it, because I'm not Yeshua, I'm Andrea. I'm A.L. Garris. I'm mother of light. I'm a higher dimensional being of light here to assist humanity. I'm a tall one, I'm an Arcturian. I'm a shaman, Native American chief. I'm so, so many things. And all those spaces of me and more consciously, vibrationally align with Jesus, Yeshua. They consciously, vibrationally align with many other spaces of that vibrational space of being. If you hold the understanding of separation and you think you are not one with, but are separate and below beneath something like that, then you will create from that space of alignment. You will experience your life from that space of alignment. So you either experience your life from separate, lower, save me, or you experience your life from sovereign, whole, love, peace. 